everybody. I hope you all had a really, really, really nice weekend. Mine was just busy with family stuff, dealing with family stuff. Ah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> just to introduce the gameplay really quickly before I get into what I wanted to talk about. I want to know if you guys like this type of game. And as you can see from the score, we were losing. We were playing catch up the entire time. I was playing ground war domination solo against an entire full team of people that just wanted to win. They didn't care about their KD. They just rushed the flags over and over and over again. So that's the people that I was playing against. And I had an okay, decent first round. I managed to get a veto or whatever. But in the second round, I was literally just running to B, trying to stop them getting B. So I died a bunch of times. I was just trying to protect B. That was my job because my teammates, they were doing an okay job at playing the objective. But I definitely felt and, and was very aware of the fact that if I was not there in certain situations, they would have taken B quite a few times and we would have lost. So let me know in the comments if you like these kind of close, super objective playing gameplays. I would have really liked to lower my kill streaks, but I didn't have time to do it before the match started. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about these kind of gameplays. And the thing that I wanted to talk about today was dealing with negativity. Now I'm going to be talking to you guys in terms of YouTube, like me dealing with negativity from YouTube and all that stuff, and also in everyday life and kind of relaying them and interchanging them and all that cool stuff. So it will be one year next month that I have been uploading videos to YouTube. And although I don't get many negative comments, like I don't get a bunch of negative comments, the ones that I do get are pretty hurtful. And honestly, I don't think I would have been strong enough or secure enough to deal with having a YouTube channel three years ago. Maybe two years ago I would have been okay, but three years ago, no. I've always been insecure and really insecure. I've always felt like, I don't know, I didn't feel like I was a terrible person, but I just never felt like I was the bee's knees, you know? Someone couldn't just say something bad to me and I'd be like, whatever, bro. Cool story, bro. I don't care. I just wasn't like that. Every, t every time someone says something negative about me, whether it was someone I knew or didn't know it I took it really personally and it really affected me and it made me think that I needed to change myself and all that stuff which is not good never think like that so I honestly don't think I would have been strong enough to deal with a lot of the comments that I get on YouTube now and this is where I can kind of relay it into everyday life and where you guys can hopefully get something from this I make YouTube videos for myself yes I enjoy it but I also make YouTube videos for the people that enjoy my content and the people that like me. I do not make videos for the people that don't like me, you know? I'm not sitting here... Like, if someone writes a negative comment right now and they're like, Oh, I don't like the fact that you talk like this. I think you talk too fast. I don't like the fact that your R's sound like that. I'm not gonna go and change the way that I talk for the people that don't enjoy my content. I make videos for people that enjoy my content. And that is very relatable to real life. You do not need to impress people who don't like you, who aren't your friends. And honestly, if they are the type of people that will say something mean and hurtful to someone that they do not know, why would you want them to like you? Surely the fact that they don't like you is actually a good thing because it's saying that you are nothing like them and you don't want to be anything like them because they're not nice people. Do you guys know what I'm saying? You do not need to impress people that don't like you. Just like I don't need to create content for people that do not enjoy me as a person. Now, I know that this is easier said than done, especially when you are young and you're not 100% comfortable in your skin. You're still trying to find your place in the world. It's very hard to just be like, I don't care. And that's what I want to let you guys know about. It's not that I don't care. I honestly don't believe that there is a single person in this world that just straight up doesn't care when someone is mean and horrible to them. But the difference is now, with me now and before, when someone says something mean to me or writes something mean to me, yeah, it'll hurt me. I'll read it and be like, ouch, ow, why would you do that? That's not nice. <laughs> but I don't let it affect me for longer than a minute. I don't let it impact on me long term. I don't give it any thought because mean people don't have opinions, in my opinion. They're not allowed an opinion. You're not allowed to tell me what is wrong with me and that I should change this, this, and this about myself when you're the kind of person that is a dick to somebody that you don't know. You don't need to impress those people. When random people who you do not know or someone that is not your friend is mean to you, 
do not let them impact you long term because they do not know you number one so they can't have a valid opinion on you as a person and number two they're the type of people that thinks it's okay to be mean they don't have an opinion don't let them affect you down with mean people up with rainbows and unicorns yeah tell them that <laughs>